Here we go again. Thank you for joining me and tuning in for today's Rice Rewind. I am continuing with my re-releases of my interviews with the man, the myth, the legend, the late, great John McAfee. And today I am re-releasing interview number three. This is the first interview that I did with John that was on my channel. And it took place on June 21st, 2019. He was still on the run, and at the time, he was in Cuba. Uh, listen, uh, go to uh, Rice Crypto's channel and uh, sign up. Uh, this man is a great interviewer, as I would not have been on for more than once. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to yet another episode of the Rice Crypto Show. I am your host, Chris Rice Crypto, and today we are joined by a man who needs no introduction, my third time interviewing the legend himself, John Mack. How you doing today, man? You know what? I, I'm always happy to be on your program. I think you're one of the best interviewers out there, else I would not have been on your show more than once. I really, really appreciate John, that, John. I really do. How is everything going with your presidential run while being on the run? Well, you know what? The more on the run I am, the, the more support I get. It's crazy. Um, you may or may not know, I, the, the IRS convened a grand jury in America to charge my wife and I at the Mrs. McAfee with, with uh, crimes against the Internal Revenue Service, which is the income tax collector. Right. And we moved, we moved to the Bahamas where they have no income tax and therefore I cannot be extradited. International law says that the law in the country that you're, that you're living in must be broken as well. In other words, if I'm charged with a crime in America, it must be a crime in the Bahamas before I can be executed by extradited. However, they have no income tax. Therefore, income tax violations are not a crime. So I was living quite happily until uh, 12 days ago when I got an urgent call from Anonymous, uh, which is an organization that monitors my name and alerts me whenever it shows up in a context that might be a, a danger to me, right. saying that, you know, they're on the way to pick me up. We're living on a boat, so it only took a few minutes to get our act together and leave. Uh, the people showed up hours after we left, idiots. Uh, and we are now in Cuba. Cuba, unfor fortunately, is the only country in the Caribbean and with access that I can access uh, that has continually thumbed their noses at America. These people have cojones, balls. They are very brave people, very courageous, and yet some of the happiest people in the world. We're now in Cuba. I regret that it's a communist regime. However, I know nothing about the government. Neither does anyone who has not been here. So I don't want to hear any bad words about the Cuban government. Uh, yeah, I, saw you, I saw you make a tweet about that earlier, about you talking about how the American media basically gives a, a bad reputation for certain. The, 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 Wall Street, the Wall Street Journal today had a large article saying that people are starving here and the government has recommended that they catch rats and eat them. I showed that article to people here in Cuba. They were rolling on the floor laughing. I've been here. I've been out to the backwoods. We were in Holguin, one of the most remote regions, the most, most uh, cities in, uh, in Cuba. There is nobody starving. There is nobody eating rats. And everybody looks extremely well-fed, smiling, and joking. So please, God, people don't believe the trash that the American government puts out through its mouthpieces. What are the mouthpieces? The Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, every major newspaper and media outlet in America is now merely a mouthpiece for the American government. Yeah, you're, you're so right, man. It's, it's really sad what's happening and, and people, I try to encourage people to question everything because people just seem, seem to be really simple and just believe what they're told and what they hear by somebody who looks and seems important. So I definitely encourage people to use their critical thinking skills. I think it's important. Um, so one of the things I saw you tweeting about was some, you, you said something about anonymous that you just mentioned, but 
what was going on with the CIA and the the military in the Bahamas? Were they coming out okay, so, legitimately? So, so again, as there any time my name is mentioned anywhere on the internet, I don't care how deep and private and guarded you may think that system is, I promise you, someone in anonymous is watching. And if it, it concerns me to the extent that they think it might be a threat, I'm alerted. Uh, so, so, you know, what happened was a CIA agent, and I'll out his sorry ass right here on your show. His name is Jeremy Kent, okay? Okay. Uh, born in Missouri, who has changed his name now to Patrick Costello, <laughs> as if that's going to help anything. I have everything about him. I've got his, I've got his, uh, his W-2 forms that he reports to the government. I've got the CIA paying his sorry ass. I've got photos. I've got his driver's license, his social security number. Please, God, if you CIA, I'm talking to the CIA now. If you think you can fart without me knowing about it, then you're an idiot. I'm John fucking McAfee. I don't care what you think about my age and my decrepit mind. I'm still the dude. And if I can't do it, my minions will. Please, God, leave me the fuck alone, or I will bring every one of you motherfuckers to the ground. I love it, man. I love it. It's classic John McAfee. And, dude, I mean, I'm glad that you're doing this. I'm glad that you're standing up for not only your own rights, but just showing people the true facts, giving people true information, letting them know what our government is doing that people may or may not be aware of. But I appreciate you doing it, man. Well, you know what? It's, you think it's for me. If I was doing this for me, I would have kept my fucking mouth shut, all right? If I'd kept my mouth shut, none of this would be happening. If I had not trashed the IRS, the SEC, the CIA, if I had not promoted cryptocurrency as the way to free yourselves from fiat currency, which is controlled by your government, which is what you need to feed yourself, to clothe yourself, to put your kids through school, to get medical attention, buy your cars. That is the only power in the world, and we have a way to replace it with something that's not controlled by anybody, yet we control our own finances. I've been speaking out, saying, you want to avoid income taxes? Use Monero or privacy coin, et cetera, et cetera. No wonder they're after me, but I have to say it. I have to say it. I have children and grandchildren more than you can count. <laughs> and I don't know if you, sir, have what your, have your listeners do. You have to at some point say, I have to live for them. You brought those sorry sons of bitches into the world. You owe them a better fucking world. You do. I agree. So, that's why, I, that's why I started doing People say, I'm doing this for selfish reasons. What selfish reasons? I'm banished from my fucking home. The home where I kissed my first girl, got a high school diploma, went to the prom, graduated from college, married, had children, bought my first fucking car. It's my home. Do you understand, sir, what that means to me to be banished? I couldn't, the, honestly, I couldn't imagine because I haven't been banished. So, I mean, I can't even imagine the situation that you're in. No, it's a horror. So you think the CIA can do more to me? Well, fuck you, CIA. What more can you do? What so, more can you do? Talking about the CIA, you, you mentioned something about all of your international campaign managers being, I'm, I'm assuming all of them were poisoned. Well, I, I didn't say poison. Let me tell you the facts. Okay. Let's start with Jay Pizzle who is one of my doubles who was going to give my keynote speech at the blockchain cruise in Europe, run by a very powerful Russian man who has a heart of fucking gold, who agreed and knew that I would not be there, but one of my doubles would be. On the way to the airport, he disappeared. He woke up 10 days later in a hospital from a coma, remembering nothing. Thing. At the same time, my head of security was hospitalized with a vague illness which could not be diagnosed. I only have six international campaign managers. Why do, I, why do I have international managers? Because Germany and Ireland and Sweden and Hong Kong are all concerned with American politics. Why? America has the longest arm in the world 
and they take a baseball bat and beat those countries that don't toe the line. So, of course, they're interested. I only have six so far. All six have been hospitalized in the past 10 days, all six. One, Patrick Labousse, has been in for 10 days and is in critical condition and is expected another two weeks before he will recover. He had to be operated on. I don't know yet what the operation was. Please, God, people, wake up. This is your government. Or do you think God just hates me and is whacking everybody around me? If you want to believe that, please do so. It makes no mathematical sense. No, no, and it's completely crazy what's going on. But, you know, again, I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate everybody who's working with you that's doing, that's helping with the McAfee campaign. And speaking of the campaign and running on the run, are you you're still running with the Libertarian Party, I assume? I am. I mean, I have no one else to run with. The Republicans and Democrats won't have me. And I do not have the money to form my own party. The Libertarians, uh, last year, I was beaten by Governor Johnson. Now, He's not running this year. Right. Neither is Bill Weld, the senator. Neither is anybody of importance. Well, how do you, feel, how do you feel about Adam Martin. Kokesh? I love Adam. I love Adam Kokesh. He is one of my best friends and a wonderful man. He would make a great president. I would make a terrible president. But let's be honest here. In terms of reach and following, I have 10 times what, what Adam has. And I would love for him to win. I really would. Unfortunately, I must have the national stage this time. I must be able to tell the American people the truth. As I see it, take it or leave it. Call me insane, paranoid. I don't give a flying fuck, but I will say it. Now, Adam, I love Adam, and I will back him for president. And if he wants to run as my vice president, please, you can get the stage too. But I have to have the stage. I'm sorry, Adam. And I've interviewed Adam, and I mentioned that to him, too, because you both are running with the Libertarian Party, and you share a yes. lot of the same values. So yes. it makes sense that you guys would do this together. Because yeah, we should do it you're together. Telling, you're yes. telling people not to vote for you. And he's telling people that if he was to be elected, that he would become the, the <laughs> owner of the American debt, uh, bankrupt the country, and then step down and try to bring everything back down to state and local level. Yes. So it kind of now, works let's order. let us talk truth. Let's talk truth for a second, sir. Okay. Neither Adam nor I could ever be president. We know this. Right. You know this. Your listeners know this. Does that mean we cannot talk? Yes, we can. And in fact, if you want to run numbers, I've got a million followers, and it's growing dramatically, and they are so loyal. Adam has a great number, too. We're not going to win, but I promise you, we will choose the next president. Love it. I love it, man. Um, I did want to ask you, because I know you don't have a whole lot of time, I did want to ask you a little bit about your new exchange, the McAfee Magic, which yes, is the second product ever to ever bear your actual name on the product prior to or in the antivirus. Yes. We'll talk well, about it. Mac, let me tell you about McAfee Magic. My, my belief, sir, is that the problem with universal acceptance of crypto is it is very complicated for a new user. Mm -hmm. When you've got, you've got wallet addresses and, and characters exceeding 100 characters, which have to be cut and pasted, we have a concept which is alien to most minds. We have dozens of exchanges, each of them uh, carrying different coins. And those who invest in cryptocurrencies have multiple coins. So you've got to log onto the Binance, log onto KuCoin and all this other crap. No, we have an interface that logs onto everything for you with the same interface. But here's what I really did, which I think is the most powerful thing. I have a practice platform within McAfee Magic. Put $100 in. You then trade under real market conditions. Bitcoin, Monero, whatever you want. Lose money, you don't lose a penny. Gain money, you don't, you don't gain it either. It's right. just, but, but it's real market conditions. So your risk is zero. At the end, you still got $100, okay? Nothing has been lost. Right. You do that for a week, a month, two months, I don't care. At some point, you go, aha. I got it. Okay. Ready to ride that bike now. Take the training wheels off. That's right. Just take the training wheels off and go ahead. Now, tell me that is not going to increase the number 
of users and acceptors of cryptocurrency. That's my goal, because to be a backer of cryptocurrency and to say it will change the world means nothing if nobody's fucking using it. True. True. I agree. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to checking out more about the, you know, the exchange McAfee magic. And I, I'm looking forward to checking out that shadow portal. You're going to be <coughs> offering, where you can shadow Excuse traders. Me. Let, me, let me announce something on your show. I have not yet announced. Okay. The platform is not an exchange. It interfaces. It is a universal interface to every exchange. So you don't have to learn finance, Qcoin, and everybody else. No one interface. <coughs> But we are coming out with our own exchange okay. with a radically different concept, and that's coming out in a month. It's going to be the McAfee Exchange in that conjunction with one of the largest, one of the largest stock market exchanges in America. Um, so that the SEC cannot go, you're doing something bad, McAfee. We're going to add you to our tally of offenses. So that when you come back to America, you're going to be in prison for 6,000 years. No, they can't touch me. So that's coming out in a month, and I promise you people, you will love it. And there's not going to be any more of this crap like give us a million dollars and we'll list you on our exchange. No, we are going to be open. We're going to be transparent. We're going to be fair. And that's something that does not exist in any change. Try to get your ass on Binance. Please, God, see oh, how much I've that's heard fun. stories. No, I mean, five Lambos and a million dollars, maybe. But give me the five Lambos first, and then we'll say no. Right. No, I'm serious. This is how it fucking works. Well, you, hear, you heard it first, ladies and gentlemen. In about a month, we're going to see John McAfee. You heard it first here. I have not announced it anywhere. Why did I announce it here? I do enjoy you, and I enjoy your questions. I appreciate you, man. I love you, and I love all you do. Is there anything that you want to say before we wrap this thing up? Yes, absolutely. Please. Stop buying the nonsense of the American media. The, the example today of the, of the Wall Street Journal saying that people are eating rats in Cuba. I'm here in Cuba at this moment. I showed that headline to dozens of Cubans who laughed and rolled in the floor. Please God, our media lies. They deceive and they promote propaganda from the bowels of our government. Let me tell you something. Please, God, please go to the freedom site.org that monitors all of the freedoms of the various nation states. We are number 50 fucking two right next to Belize, that most oppressive of all regimes. You think you have freedom? You try to get your sorry ass down, you're going to have dinner with me. The U.S. says, no, you may not travel there because we get to control where you travel. They control what you put into your body. Who owns your body? The government? We're supposed to own our own oh, body, you? technically. Yes. And your mind, you may not learn this. You may not read that. Please, God, people, you are not free. You are not free. You take the worst oppressive regime and come there, you're going to see much more freedom than you have in America. In America, every fucking street corner has cameras pointing in every direction. Every, every mall, every public place, every public building has cameras. I haven't seen a single one here. Now, those of you who say, yeah, well, you haven't seen them because they're hidden. I'm John fucking McAfee, a security expert. Try and hide a fucking camera from me. Please, God, try that. Right. No, they don't exist. They don't fucking exist. You're not free. You're not free, not from the government, not from the corporations. What happens to you every day of your life? You wake up at six, you have breakfast, you commute, depending on where you are, if you're in LA, up to an hour, you spend nine hours in a fucking airless, windowless office with artificial light, you commute home just in time to kiss your wife goodnight, and you do this for 40 fucking years, and you call yourself free, wake the fuck up, America. And that's what I wanted to say, sir. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, man. I appreciate it as always. Ladies and gentlemen, if it's your first time ever checking out any of my content, please explore my channel. Give a thumbs up to this video. Share, comment. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Support what I'm doing. And subscribe to Rice Crispo for fuck's sake, people. <laughs> if I'm on here, 
I'm on here for a goddamn reason. You have no clue how many people want me to be on the air. I turn nine out of ten down. I would never turn this man down. Listen to me. Subscribe. I'll talk to you later, my friend. Thanks, Thank John. You. Much love. Be the change. Practice change, everybody. All right. That was it. John motherfucking McAfee. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Again, I encourage you as always, be the change by practicing change. And I love you all.